They end up going to a store and, and pawning the possessions for $100. $100 for uh, Mr. Zines and his family's grief. Just absolutely horrible. Breaking tonight, murder charges in the senseless killing of an U of C graduate. Chicago police revealing how they tracked the suspect down after the armed robbery that ended in bloodshed. Nate Rogers is live with the new developments. Nate. Yeah, that's right, Corey and Tia. That suspect was arrested two days ago in the Old Town neighborhood. Police say he had two firearms in his possession, one of which they say tested positive for shooting the victim. Police also said he had a key fob belonging to the getaway car used in this horrific crime. The victim did nothing at all to deserve being shot and killed. 18-year-old Alton Spann now charged with first-degree murder in the death of 24-year-old Chao Zhang Zing. Police say Spann confronted the UFC grad student when he was walking home Tuesday mid-afternoon along East 54th Place. Zing was shot in the chest and robbed. He later died at the hospital. Police say surveillance video shows Spann later selling the student's items for $100 at a local cell phone store. Let that sink in. $100 for... Uh, Mr. Zings and his family's grief. It's tragic. Um, yeah, I saw like 10 people kind of mourning the loss today and um, very sad. Dozens of flowers, teddy bears, and candles line the sidewalk where the murder occurred. Zing received his master's degree in statistics in July. He was, quote, always willing to help. This UFC it's professor crazy. still trying to process it all. And the second time a student was shot yeah. by some. Somebody, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Beyond surveillance video and license plates readers, police say tips from residents quickly solve this case. Yeah. Superintendent Brown saying they'll solve even more if only the community would speak up. Through the anonymous tip line, Brown says the fear of retaliation is eliminated. No one will know you gave us the tip. No one will know you got the reward unless you tell them. No other charges in this case include armed robbery and unlawful use of a weapon. Um, Superintendent Brown said the suspect had no criminal history as an adult. He had just turned 18. Um, no word yet if there's any priors um, with the suspect as a juvenile. Police also say that they have increased patrols in Hyde Park and on UFC's campus. We're live on the city's south side. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. All right, a